So how long have you guys been together? Let me check Instagram. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Young, dumb, and broke, but we still got love to give while we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, broke, high school kid. Young, dumb, broke, high school kid. We have so much in common. Hi, I'm Nicholas. Welcome to the, an attempt at a cooking segment at Journalism. Epic whooshing sounds. All right, so we have got something in my egg. And we've got eggs here. We've got our mixing bowl. A little bit of a seasoning. We've got the pepper. Your salt, your herbs, and if you would like, put a little bit of a good old sriracha in there. Got our uh, cooking area, trusty spatula, a little bit of milk, we should probably put that in the ingredient area, and plates for whenever we're done. So let's go ahead and get started. You need a, the mixing bowl, of course. So we'll just start off with a simple egg. Crack, crack it and just leave residue everywhere. Just, just leave it everywhere. And uh, wrap that up. I'm gonna go ahead and do three with big old left of residue on. Stop it! I hit it too hard! I know! I'm gonna crack it on the edge of the bowl. Yeah, I'm gonna start cracking on the edge of the bowl because I got a mess now and I don't have anything to clean it up with. I'm not very good at this. I can make the food, I just can't prepare it. Alright. Okay, after a quick uh, bathroom trip to wash your hands. You can do multiple things from this point, and one is you, uh, of course, you mix your eggs. At this point, I like to add milk, because it's easier to add it while it's in the bowl than to just splash it into a pan. You don't want to add too much. That should be plenty. And then you give it a nice good old spin a -roo. Use a whisk if you have it, they're a lot easier to use. Okay, now it's looking pretty. All right, at this point, you slowly pour it into the pan. You don't want it to sizzle too much. There we go. I can hear it sizzling, but it's not too much, so it's still good. With a little bit of a... Uh, don't mind the... Stop. <laughs> Hi, I'm Millennia, and I'm here with Miss Scott and Miss Thacker, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about the new school shout-out board. Well, we are trying to work on our school climate here just for a more positive atmosphere, and so... I saw something online. Some kids had sent some pictures to me from Pinterest. And so I sent it to the master worker here, and she's created this magical board for us. She's going to tell us about it. All right, so the whole idea is if you've got a friend or a faculty member that's really been super helpful to you or you've just noticed they've done something amazing, come and write it on our board. Grab you a Post-it note, stick it up here. I'll stop by a couple times a day to staple them so they don't fall off. But it's just a way for all of us to start to lift each other up a little bit. Thank you. So we're here with Melania again. Hi. Hi. You, you have a little friend. Who is this? This is Noki, my rat friend. Is she a boy or girl? She's a girl. What, what made you want a rat? Well, you kind of came to my house and forced a rat. I called on you. Me. So I got her a friend. So this is your second rat? Yeah, my first one's name is Noodle, and she's chilling at home. I couldn't bring her because she's too rowdy. <laughs> she's 
<laughs> she needs medication. She's really ADHD. How, how, how is it being a rat mom? Okay, it's not hard as you would think it is. <laughs> What's her favorite food? She really likes Cheerios. She ate like five of them this morning, like back to back. Is that a lot for a rat? It's a lot for a rat. They don't eat very much. They're tiny. So if if you were just like walk, walking around school or really anywhere and someone saw you with your rats or any other furry friend for that matter, no shame. Uh, what, what would you say like as far as handling goes? I would say that you should ask the owner first if you can pick them up because they not they might not be okay with you holding them at that time. But if they're not, you'll have your chance at some point. It's okay. And just be gentle with them because they're really small and they could easily get hurt. They could easily fall because Me too. my first rat has fallen before. I felt really bad about it. But she's okay. She's okay. But they're very fragile. So. Me too. Uh... You hold on to that hole. You hold on to that hole for all of us. Right? Because I can smell it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Justice. I'm here with Dion and Keon and Leon Simmons. Um, are you guys excited about ring ceremony? Yes, I am excited. I'm very excited. It should be fun. I've been winning this moment for my whole life, so yes, I am very excited. Okay. Um, what does ring ceremony mean to you guys? Well, I think it means like it symbolizes and it's the meaning behind you. Mm -hmm. I think it means like the people you like grew up with all the way to the end and finish with. So what they said, I think it represents your life and all the accomplishments you achieved in high school. Okay, um, and what thought did y'all put behind y'all's rings when I preparing put, it? Like sports. Mm -hmm. I put football, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean triplets, so I put the same thing, sports. <laughs> so, um, ring ceremony is on March 14th. And that is Wednesday. So. There we go. We got plenty of footage, right? I mean, we ain't got no much time left. Tyler, did you have any struggles getting to school today? Yeah, I had to like paddle a boat to get to school. Like, my there's this like river thing. Well, it's, I live by the river, so like mm -hmm. the river floods and stuff when it gets mm -hmm. rains. And there's this ditch in my yard. We built up our road, but it's over our road now and the truck mm -hmm. getting by, so we had to put a boat, paddle a boat across. Wow, so how long did that take you? How early did you have to leave? We had to leave like 20 minutes earlier than we usually leave. And did you like paddle? to the actual road and like got in a car and drove or did no, you? No, well there's this ditch. The ditch only goes like so far. Mm -hmm. So we paddled to the ditch and there's still grass. And then we had to walk up to the car. Uh, okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Justice and I'm here with Miss Kaplan. Uh, as you all know, we've had a lot of rain these past couple of days. Ms. Kaplan, did you have any struggle getting to school today? Oh, the struggle was real. So I live in North Little Rock near Burns Park and my neighborhood's like a mm -hmm. maze and I had to turn around like three times so that I didn't like go through little rivers in the streets. So it was a really big struggle to get here. So what time do you usually get here? And I usually roll in about 7.40, 7.45 because I'm a slacker. Mm -hmm. um, but today I got here like right before the bell. Okay. So, I was on time though. I was on time. <laughs> okay, thank you. No problem. Hi, I'm here with Noah Draper. And uh, Noah, have you had any strange experiences recently with the flooding? Uh, yes, there's been lots of animals lying out my door. I'm not too sure why, but. What kinds of animals? Uh, I think I've seen a couple zebras, some donkeys, a couple raccoons. You keep saying couple. Are there, are there only two of each kind? Mm hmm. Just two. When they flower, it may be time to start getting worried. 
I think I may have saw a giraffe last, a couple giraffes last night. But... Ready the boats. It's not making a smacking noise, you ain't done. <coughs> That's great. All right, well, you're walking. We can do this. Yeah, what am I do? These are the eggs that we made this morning. They gonna poison them for them. One bite or how many bites? I mean, as many as you want. If you like it, take another. Ugh. Not bad. Success. 